Hey everyone, Cody here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another painting tutorial kind of thing where you watch me make paintings and I kind of talk about how I make them and sometimes I don't because I have no idea what direction to take this channel and sometimes I question even my own existence. But today I'll be painting on an acrylic, uh, no, not an acrylic block, well... I gesso gesso block. I don't I don't know how you say the word gesso. I think gesso, gesso, gessoed square wood thing. So a gessoed wood square square block wood block gessoed wood block. Yeah, let's just call it that. So today I will be painting on a gessoed wood block. Now this was actually suggested to me by. Uh, a subscriber which I have very few of I'm very grateful for but uh yeah I uh, this was sub this was suggested to me by a subscriber I don't know if they want me to link to them or post to them in this video or in the description so I won't name them but it was someone and I know exactly who it was and if that person wants me to link to them for some reason I will definitely do so in the comment section just reach out to me if you're watching. So anyway, I'm trying to be ambidextrous here. Um, I'm kind of succeeding, kind of not. Really, actually, fun fact, when I was a kid, I was ambidextrous for a while. I think I was probably five, somewhere in the four to seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight range. I, I think it was younger, probably like four to six. Uh, but I remember going to school and I was actually ambidextrous for a while. Um, I would cut, write everything with both hands for a while. Uh, it didn't last very long, I think less than a year. Uh, but I just, you know, I wasn't sure kind of which way to go. And so I used both. And I've heard that that's kind of, that's actually more common than people talk about. But yeah, I did both for a while. And then I ended up being right-handed because, you know, I didn't want to be an outcast in a world full of right-handers, so I chose the right hand because, you know, right hand, nobody says left hand man, right? They only say right hand man, you're my right hand man, right? So nobody, nobody says left hand man, so. Plus, I mean, yeah, I really respect people who are left-handed because, I mean, it's got to be challenging, man. I just, you know, I know a couple of people who are left-handed and I watch them try to write and they just smear all their words and, you know, they cut and it's all like weird and jagged. And, you know, I, you know, just everything is for right handed people. So I just, I can't imagine. So if you're left handed, you know, I give you 100% props because I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to take on that. No, I guess if you went to like England or something, they drive on the left hand of the road, left hand side of the road, right? So I think, I don't, I, you know, I don't know if that's just a stereotype or maybe I'm getting my countries mixed up. Not 100% culturally savvy. So if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me because I don't know anything about anything. I don't even know anything about painting. But, uh, you know, if they, I think they drive on the left side of the road. I know somewhere in the world they, they drive on the left side. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping that's not just in the movies. I don't know. I don't have a passport, so I can't go anywhere. But anyway, you know, I, I, I couldn't do it. If uh, left-handed, it's got to be a, it's got to be a challenge in its own right. And I give you, I give you props. So mad respect. So anyway, so today we'll be doing brown, red, and yellow. We're starting with a brown base here. And... This is, you know, this was just to give it kind of a, a tone background so that that really, you know, bright white doesn't pop through the uh, the painting. And today I'm using a, a scraper. I don't know. It, I don't think it's a trowel. I think it's, uh, I guess you would call it a scraper. I don't know. I don't, a drywall scraper, I think. I don't know. Similar to the kind of tool that my dad would have used when he did drywall. I, I really don't know 100%. I got it at Home Depot, and it's some kind of tool. Sometimes I wish I knew tools. But uh, anyway, so 
I'm, I like the color that it was creating with this, but obviously I didn't use enough paint because it didn't spread far enough. So, uh, you know, flip it around, flip it upside down and all around. Air, 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 remix. Um, so, yeah, didn't use enough paint. So we're going to have to throw some more glibby globs on there. And uh, I should I realized a little late that I probably should have taped the sides. But I was just so darn excited to paint on this, this wood block. Uh, because I've never painted on a wood block before. So, you know, I'm, I'm really impatient. I, if I have one, well, I have a bunch of character flaws. I was going to say, if I have one character flaw, well, but I, I've got a few. Uh, if I have one character flaw, it's, it's impatience. So, I mean, I'm impatient. Um, I'm impatient with everything, man. I'm not going to be going to lie. Oh. Impatient with waiting for things like so half of the paintings I've ever made probably ruined because I don't wait for them to dry and I just I don't know man it's a character flaw I'm impatient another thing I deal with is pride so you know I'm I'm kind of feast or famine because I'll either do really well or really terribly uh, I'm rarely like just in the middle and uh, because of that when I do really really badly I get depressed because I know I can do better and then when I do really well I get super proud and I'm like I'm the best there ever was and it's funny because I was talking about this in another video that you may or may not have seen but in that video I talk about how I've been telling myself I'm the best there ever was to fight through the depression so that even in of itself is kind of a well, what's that word it's not contradiction it's it's not juxtaposition it's uh oh come on it's right there it's, uh, oh, come on, people, you know the word. Oh, what is it? It's, uh, I don't know. I don't, now I can't think of the word. It's so late. I, it's, it's late. That's my excuse. My brain cells are dead. Not that they were ever truly alive, but, uh, dang it, now I can't, I hate that. You know when you got that word on the tip of your tongue and it and it like drives you nuts because you know the word is there and you're like, then you hate yourself because you're like, I, I know better. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm better than this. I'm the best there ever was and now I can't. But anyway, I know it seems kind of contradictory to, to tell myself I'm the best there ever was when I get depressed because I don't do well. But uh, you know what? It, it's, it's what helps me, okay? So anyway, this, this scraper, um, it was doing okay, but it wasn't spreading it as far as I wanted it to. So I switched over to corrugated plastic here. Um, this was literally just a piece of pl corrugated plastic that I, you know, cut, cut up and kind of made into a scraper. So it's super cheap. Uh, you can get corrugated plastic from like, from art stores. Like I think I've seen them at Michael's. Uh, but you can also get them at Home Depot. They're super cheap. They're like five bucks for a giant sheet. And what's cool about it is like if you ever plan on doing scrape paintings after watching my terrible videos, then it's a cheap tool to make scrape paintings. Even cheaper than using sheets of acrylic, which I've been kind of liking recently because uh, because the acrylic is just it's it's clean, it's flat, and it's even. And I got plastic in here when I was cutting off some of that plastic to even it out. Now, in all honesty, I probably could have left the painting at this point before I messed it up with all my finger marks. But, uh, I don't know. Some, you know, you, you get those pieces where, like, you just don't know when to stop. That happens to me literally, like, every piece uh, so, you know, the only solution I have to fixing these pieces is just to add more paint. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. My paintings are probably pretty heavy. I, it's funny because I gave a painting to a guy. Uh, I talked about it in one of my other videos. His name is Skyler. And, uh, I gave it to him like, for his business. And, oh, and just so you know, I switched back to the acrylic sheet. 
uh, just because, again, like I was saying, it's it's flatter and it's more and it's even. So with the corrugated plastic, because it's so light, it's easy to kind of push down more in one area as opposed to another. Um, but with the acrylic sheet, I mean, you're going to get that nice, even, uh, flat, smooth, some other adjective here, f surface of paint. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but anyway, the painting that I gave that guy, dude, it had, it was, it was flipping heavy, dude. It was like 13 pounds. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but for a painting it is. Um, and it's because it had so many layers of paint on it. So, yeah, that was that was an interesting painting. I think I, like, I did a painting and I hated it. So then I painted it, like, black or something to start over. And then I hated that painting. So I painted over it again. And then I did, like, a Pollock-style painting. And so I had all these, like... You know, I was like black and white and stuff like that. And, you know, it was just layers of the the Pollock style drip. It was just so heavy. So, yeah, that was that was something. Uh, but I think I'm pretty close to done on this one. Uh, really, I it bothers me a lot if the edges aren't covered completely with paint. Um, so even if like the painting looks okay, if the edges have any little bit of of like the surface showing through it, it bothers me a lot. So that's why I'm kind of going over it because I can't I can't stand that. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. So no big lessons for this one or anything like that. Um, overall, I I didn't mind using the the wood, um, it does give you that kind of nice even surface, which is, which is good. Um, however, what I don't really like about it is the fact that I don't know. It it's like it it spreads easier, but at the same time, because it's flatter, it doesn't create the same kind of effects as as the canvas. So I think that for big paintings, these, these panels will actually be pretty good because it creates like kind of the even, the evenness. So I do like that it's even, especially for scraping, because when you scrape, you know, having that even surface helps out, but I don't know, man, I'm just impartial to canvas. I appreciate the suggestion and I may do more of them. Uh, but, uh, canvas is just my main jam. So Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you, you know, enjoyed at least watching me if you put me on mute so you didn't have to hear me. But uh, if you like this video, please, you know, like, rate, share, subscribe. Consider uh, supporting the channel, all that cool stuff. Really appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you guys later.